takeout. Should you give a tip? Dana Arshin looked into that very topic. Tipping. For some New Yorkers, it's hands down one of the most uncomfortable things they're faced with on a daily basis, or so they tell us. I feel like it's awkward, um, but sometimes I just feel like if I get personal service, it's worth it. I think it was awkward initially, so I'm an international student and I didn't understand tipping before I got here. We all know it's customary to tip waiters after our sit down meals, but how do you deal with this screen, the one that pops up when you're in a fast casual or takeout spot? In general, on a small purchase like that, I'm going to tip, you know, a dollar, something reasonable. If every customer gives them a dollar, I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good rate. No tip. Why? I think it's ridiculous. Uh, it's just a simple transaction, really. Food influencer Matt Brock shares his thoughts. To me, it's all proportional to how hard they're working. So, can of soda. Not much of a tip. Something that they had to cook, more of a tip. Here in Morningside Heights, at Sliced by Harlem Pizza Company, the owner tells us there's no customary approach to tipping, but throwing in a few cents here and there is always appreciated. With us, you know, our slice is 325. It's an easy round up to four, or you know, 350, or you know, our system prompts 10 percent. Because there isn't re a huge level of service involved, it's just a, a, a token of appreciation that. That adds up for the employees at the end of the day. The option to tip on a screen like this one only pops up when you pay with credit cards. So if you want to avoid the situation altogether, pay with cash. If not, it's a game time decision based on how you feel in that moment. In Morningside Heights, I'm Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News.